Hey Louise from Gone Wild here. Just thought I would touch base with you and um, talk today about uh, food prep. So I've got a, a trip coming up um, at the end of the month and we're going to be away for seven days and we're gonna be off the grid. So it is imperative that you do some uh, food prep for your trip. So the tips I've been given are um, to pre-cook some food, freeze it, then pop it in your fridge and within a few days, it'll be defrosted enough that you can warm it up and have it in the later part of your trip. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, so I get Hello Fresh delivered at home. And to tell you the truth, I haven't been cooking that much this week. So I do have um, some leftover food to, to cook up. So uh, one of the recipes that I've already done is I've made up um, some teriyaki pork and popped it in a little container like that. And what I plan to do is I'll freeze that and then um, I'll pop it in my fridge and by day three, I reckon that might have defrosted enough and I'll cook up some rice. So I'll probably take half of that amount um, for each meal because uh, that does feed two. Um, then another one that I'm actually cooking at the moment is, um, this is Caribbean chicken. Uh, the Caribbean chicken comes with roast vegetables. So the roast vegetables are in the oven at the moment. I'll package that up and also freeze that. Um, and that will be another meal. So um, I went shopping today and while I was there, I did pick up some um, some supplies for the trip. So, um, so on the days that um, I don't wanna cook, um, I do have some ready cooked brown rice there that I'll just use to warm it up. I'm going to take some of these little milks and as I go, I'll pop one in the fridge and once that's used, I'll replace it, but I won't put them all in my fridge all in one go because I do want to um, take advantage of the space that I've got. Whoops. So, uh, what else did I get? Um, I've got a couple of these Heinz suits. They're ready made. And the reason why I picked these up is because I don't want to have to cook up the water or boil the water every time I want a cup of soup or something like that. So I reckon these ready made ones um, might do the trick. Then um, I'm not great with um, pre-packaged food, but um, sometimes you have to. Um, so I've got all my fresh stuff and that'll be all cooked up. Um, but then I also picked up some little baby cans of corn. Um, some little baby mushrooms. Uh, I've got a couple of cans of uh, tuna and I haven't tried this stuff before, but ooh, that is the um, canned chicken. Um, I might give that a go before I actually take it and just see what it's like. And uh, cause I don't want to get out there and then find that I don't freaking like it. So I've got a couple of cans of those, got a couple of cans of um, fruit that I'll eat along the way. Um, what else did I get? I couldn't find any little cans of peas. So I've ended up with these, these beans. And I reckon if I, um, if I just use one of those, mix it up with some tuna, maybe some rice, um, that'll be an excellent meal or for lunch or whatever like that. So um, I'm slowly getting my stuff together. Um, I am gonna be taking my, my um, all my camping utilities and all the rest of it. So there will be some um, cooking. I will take some fresh food for maybe the first one or two days. Um, so just bear in mind that you are you are collecting food appropriate to the terrain that you're going to be in, the weather that you're going to be in. Um, so where I'm going is going to be about um, twenty between twenty and thirty degrees during the days, and it's going to get quite cool at night because we will be in the desert. So probably between maybe five and 12 degrees at night. So I do want to be packing um, cool things for during the day. I don't want to have to be cooking during the day and then having something warm at night will just be perfect. So um, the little you can take with you, the better, because then you want to utilize all the space um, in, your, in your truck and all of your containers and things that you're taking. And um, this trip might be a little bit different because I will be taking both warm and cooler 
clothes. So I do want to take advantage of as much space as possible. Um, also at Coles, they sell um, 10 litre big drums of water. So I'm going to collect um, a few of those over the time and make sure that I've got those on board. Um, they will be for washing up, washing, having a shower, that kind of thing, drinking water. Um, also, I've, um, I'm going to take an extra jerry can of fuel for those just in case times. Um, because, because camping in the outback can be quite unpredictable, if you're going along a trail that you're not very familiar with and you have to turn around because of the, um, I don't know, um, you want to have enough fuel on board to be able to turn around and head back the way that you came. But if you're on limited fuel, you may not be able to actually um, successfully finish the trip. So. so here's the prep food. We've got some brown rice, some soup, some canned chicken. We've got the mushrooms, the peas, the corn, uh, the peach slices, got the old tomato sauce up the back there. Then um, I've been cooking this morning just a couple of little bits and pieces. Um, I stewed some apples and I've um, married that up with some maple syrup. So um, that would be a good dessert. We've got the Caribbean chicken, the bolognese, the roast veg. We've got the teriyaki pork times two, the good old nut mix, the rice that I'm taking with me. This is my um, food prep board, which is actually my splash bag. So um, that's where I've been working out exactly what I'm taking. Um, I've got my shopping list for um, things that I'm missing. Um, I picked these up today. They're little, um, little containers and I've just put a heap of um, herbs and stuff in there. Um, some stock for when I'm actually cooking the fresh the fresh side of my um, my meal prep so yeah that's uh, so all I can say is take as much canned stuff as you can without taking too much processed food but um, and don't forget your sealable bags because they're damn handy when you need them